troubleshooting AC. The AC is running inside the apartment. The fuse link is in, okay? On the on position. Compressor not running. You can see the fan not moving. Okay, part two. Now I told you the unit is running inside. Now I'm outside. We got this wire here coming from the compressor going to the uh, the unit inside, the inside apartment. See how that goes inside the apartment? Okay, usually the squirrels or whatever might chew this wire. I'm gonna show you what to look for, okay? Come on down, we're gonna take this cover off, which goes right here, okay? See that that 120 to 24 volt right here. Now watch this. It's always got a tester on it, okay? Listen. It's running, okay? Watch when I let it go. Kick back off. Okay. Now we know. This 120 to 24 volt relay is bad, or this wire is bad from the animals. So I got to test that. So now we know that the unit works. Now, if this works and the AC doesn't come on, always check this cap right here. Pull it off and get a cap tester from Amazon, $20, $25, okay? and usually this is bad but right now my problem is this this uh, 120 to 24 volt relay is bad or the wire to the thermostat is bad now that's what i got to go run down but now you got a common reason or a common way to figure out if your compressor is bad or not all right have a great day Well, I could leave you guys short like that. So, remember I told you there was a short down to the relay? Maybe the relay was bad or the wire was bad. So, I'm upstairs now. Put the thermostat on cold, right there. Put it on automatic. We're gonna go over to the furnace. And then you need to locate the two wires that's going down to the compressor outside, which will be these two wires by themselves. See them two wires, this one and this one. Behind here is a relay, like a 24 volt or one, no, 120 volt, and it shoots that current from here down to the condenser, and that will kicks that relay to a 220. 120, 240. Or 220, they use them 220, 240, whatever. So, okay, we're gonna get current from here, going outside. That what kicks that relay. Right now, we need to figure out if it's the the uh, transformer or the wire. Now, let me get a tester here. Put that tester on AC. See so can I get it? You guys can see it. Okay. Working with one hand here, guys. Got the two prongs here. I'm gonna get one right here. One right there. Should have 240 or two something. There we go. See that? So we know that the transformer working. See it right there? Bam! Now it's between the wire now. So outside the relay is good. It's just the wire got a short. Now we got to run that damn short down. Damn squirrels. Okay guys, I'm outside now. Now this recover what I did. Inside I had power. Going to the line. Okay. Now we outside the building. This is the window to the, the furnace I'm in. So now we're going from it's got to be broke from here 
to here. But let's see, do we have power at the end of this wire? Okay, we on zero. I already got the black wire on the prong. Let's go to the yellow over here. And look, zero. So the wire is broke somewhere. That's the reason that relay will not kick in. So the relay is good. We got a broke wire somewhere. All right, now I hope that helps some guys out. Show you how to run down an AC unit not kicking on. This is one of the reasons, common reason, that we have an apartment complex. Damn squirrels. Okay guys, I'm on this skimpy ladder. Not even tall enough. So we hit the AC unit. Remember I told you them damn squirrels? We following that wire all the way up. That was somebody butt connected, but look, I found it. Look right there. See that? Someone tore it apart. So I can't do this with one hand, so I'm gonna get up there and tie that together. You guys see the AC unit running, then I'll fix it better later. But there it is, right there. Okay, I just got it twist with my hands, but check it out. AC unit running. Wham, baby. Cool air. Damn, squirrel. <laughs> 